What is up, guys? So I wanted to do a quick weekly outlook this week on the indexes. So if we look at last week, we can see that we've uh, tapped on ES. We tapped into this daily fair value gap here on the daily time frame. And on NQ, we actually took that low of that daily fair value gap tapped into a little bit of this volume imbalance here on the daily and then use that to bounce. So we, we took, had SMT here. Same with the Dow Jones or YM. Okay, we tapped into this daily fair value gap. So we had SMT where both ES and YM were showing higher lows. And Q swept that sell side and then we targeted internal liquidity back up into this range. So um, we're coming back up into this daily breaker block in the form of these down close candles here. Also back into this daily bearish volume imbalance. And then we have a daily uh, fair value gap here. Okay, so I'm anticipating us to continue bullish still to into this daily uh, fair value gap, um, possibly on the higher end of this breaker block. So we'll see how we react. So looking at this swing high from August uh, 22nd um, as some buy side liquidity um, in, up into this daily fair value gap, um, we can see that on the highs for both uh, ES and the Dow, We've break, we broke the all-time highs um, and created a new all-time high up here, whereas NQ has failed to uh, take the all-time high still. So we have uh, SMT at the highs right now. So we'll see what happens here uh, this week and how we react in these bearish PD rays on NQ. And if we get some sort of uh, high, uh, higher time frame pull back and we drop down to the four hour um, we can see uh, kind of anticipating we have some equal lows here um, on ES NQ here on the four hour um, and some relative equal lows here on the Dow. So uh, potentially we could see some sort of maybe pullback. Um, I don't know how deep we can get of a pullback here before we head towards this buy side. Um, looking at this round number of uh, 20,500 for NQ. So we come down to the 15 minute. We can see we have this bullish breaker block and we have this bullish 15 minute fair value gap. So uh, possibly a retracement back into this uh, 15 minute, maybe into this 15 minute uh, breaker block and dipping into uh, some of this order block in here before we continue um, back up higher towards this 20,500 area. Uh, and short term looking at 20,200 as the next uh, buy side. So if we look at this swing high in here, as the next buy side liquidity. So we'll look at this candle high. This candle's high is 20,203 even. So we'll set these coordinates to 203. So we have short term buy side there in the swing high. Now, um, if we look, we can see to the left here, um, this high over here kind of aligns with this 5,800 even level on ES. And uh, it's the all-time high of the Dow Jones. So we'll see if we maybe get some sort of um, SMT at the highs. Um, 
possibly. So we'll see what London does. Maybe London puts in the high of the day and we get a uh, pullback into uh, the Asia low here on the Dow. And it would be the Asia low on ES as well. Uh, let me turn this on. Um, and not quite the Asia lows here, um, possibly, but we have our weekly opening uh, here. So we could dip back and in, down into this weekly opening gap and use it as uh, support back up towards buy side. Okay, so as we have the uh, minute opening hap happened about uh, 24 minutes ago. So that being said, guys, I won't make this too long. And I uh, will catch you guys later this week and trade safe.